We're here in a portion of the Overland Fire that happened in 2003. Usually after wildfire, we expect a lot of new trees to come back. We expect within a few years to see a pulse of new establishment recreating those forest conditions. Instead, what we see here is virtually no tree seedling establishment, virtually no seedlings and saplings present. In this burn of 2003, we're spending time hiking through the entire burn looking for tree seedlings and saplings. Here you can see a ponderosa pine that uh, germinated after the fire of 2003. It's kind of alone on the landscape here. There's not very many other seedlings and saplings present. We see such limited regeneration in high severity areas as well as in low severity areas. What else might explain the lack of tree regeneration? And given that question, we've been focusing specifically on the role that climate change may be playing in influencing these patterns. We chose to install an experiment here because we're interested in ponderosa pine and Douglas fir regeneration following wildfire throughout the Colorado Front Range. We're right in the heart of the wildland urban interface where people live, where people recreate, and for that reason, this research is especially relevant. This particular plot is a warmed only plot, which means that we're increasing the air temperature. Um, so this, this particular plot is imitating a scenario, perhaps, in the future where we have warmer temperatures as well as decreased moisture. We have a lot of mortality in this particular plot. So here's a dead ponderosa pine, and here's a dead Douglas fir. We know that climate change is well underway in Colorado, and we also know that we're seeing a lot of fires in recent years, so it seems especially relevant, and I'm motivated to learn more about this topic and looking into the future what we might expect to see.